GM, welcome back to the channel. In this one, a video on how to add liquidity for Kajira over on the Camelot Dex. That is on Arbitrum Network, so that is a new addition for Kajira over there. And also, I'm gonna show you how to use the bridge, the Axelar Core Bridge, satellite.money, so you can easily bridge between Kajira and other chains, Arbitrum being the one in today's video. But it is a very easy, seamless experience. So there's no need to worry about Kajira being on Cosmos and a lot of things going on on other chains. It is super simple to bridge between the two. So as we can see on screen here, Camelot Dex, the QG pool is set with farming rewards going live today, 3 p.m. UTC. So that hour has just passed, and so it's time to see what rewards are on there and how we can get some QG incentives plus some Grail incentives I hear as well for providing some liquidity in the QG to USDC pool on Camelot Dex. So over on Camelot Dex, you can see earn page and pools. If you just tap in KU, and you can see the Kajira pool is there, Kajira to USDC. So this is where we need to provide some LP. So I need to add some liquidity over here, get the LP token. With the LP token, we then will be taking it to Nitro over on these Nitro pools. This is where they have their additional incentives. And from here, you can see two different pools on here. Top one requires a two month lock of the liquidity. The bottom has no lockup. So this is the one I'll be entering into. And we'll check in on this in just a sec once we got the LP tokens ready. So my Kajira wallet is logged in and good to go. Funds are on hand. We are ready to play ball here. So what we need to do is open up satellite.money. So this is the Axelar core bridge. It is a very good bridge. I typically bridge between Kajira and Polygon, but in this case here, we're doing Kajira to Arbitrum, as of course the Camelot Dex is on Arbitrum, and that's where these incentives lie. So just figuring out which tokens are we gonna bridge over. So I'm gonna actually bridge over dollars, the Axelar USDC coin, get that over to Arbitrum. I will then need to convert AXL USDC into just normal USDC, as normal USDC is what I need for the LP pair. I will also have to do a bit of a swap between that USDC, take 50% of that and sell it for some Kajira tokens because I don't wanna do two bridge transactions. I just wanna do it all in one using dollars. But if you are to do it with the Kuji token, there'll be no need to convert anything. It will give you native Kuji on the Arbitrum chain. But as I say, let's do this with AXL USDC. So do check out some of the fees on here as well. It's gonna cost around 10 bucks in Axelar USDC to make the transfer as that is the relay at gas fee. So what I have here is my Kepler wallet for Kajira logged in and I've also got my MetaMask on here added as well. I'm gonna send over just over 200 bucks worth over there and then destination address, I can fill it directly with that connected wallet. So just clicking on that button there. Just at the bottom of the screen, it says generate deposit address. Click on that. Then we get this pop-up letting us know the recipient address, my MetaMask, will receive AXL USDC on Arbitrum. And then I have to click confirm. Then down at the bottom, send from Kepler to initiate this transaction. Of course, I'm sending those dollars from the Kepler wallet now and approving that in the Kepler wallet there. And now the next step down here, it says transfer is on its way. Kajira detected. So those tokens will arrive soon. So that transaction will take roughly one minute to confirm. And from there, I've now gone on to SushiSwap. You can see this from the link here, Axelar USDC to USDC pool. Click on the link to SushiSwap. It takes us to the SushiSwap pool in question. And I now wanna convert all of this Axelar USDC into normal USDC. So I'll just follow the steps on screen and get that done. So that swap has now completed. I've got 190 USDC alive on Arbitrum. Let's go back over to the Camelot Dex. I now need to go and do a trade and get some Kuji. So I'm gonna swap half of my USDC into the Kuji token. It's already live with a pool, so we'll just be able to swap that real quick. I'll trade half of the tokens. That is around $95 into Kuji. You can see on screen it'll then populate that I'm gonna get 95.43 Kajira tokens at a price of around 99 cents. It has pumped nicely today. We're gonna to approve this and get that swap done. So now you can see from the balances here, I have USDC and Kajira, roughly 50-50 ratio required for the LP. So back to earn, back to pools. And from pools, we need to type in Kuji once again. And then we choose the pool here. 
And if you just scroll down from here, joining the pool by creating SP NFT position. We don't want to do that. We want to click on create position and from create position, add liquidity. We don't want the NFT. We want the LP only. So this is where I will max my QG and it's going to say my 95.43 QG needs to be paired with $94.27 in USDC. So I need to approve both of these tokens in MetaMask and then click the add liquidity button there. So there we go. There's the pairing, the ratio, the pool share I will have and the APR currently around 8%, but there's going to be those incentives on top. Add liquidity and then this is going to give us the LP token when this goes through. So now we go back to the Nitro pools here, find the Kuji pools. As I mentioned, the top one is a two month lock required. So I want to do this one down here. And from this, you can see there's a load of Kajira rewards pending. Over the next 30 days, there's around 2,560 Kuji going to be distributed to LPS of this pool. So some handsome rewards coming, and I believe there'll be Grail rewards on top as well. So I've got my LP token. How do I add it here into a Nitro pool? I click on create position. So from the create position, you can see I have my LP down there, very small number of which plenty of zeros in front of that. Press max and then I can deposit my value. It's around 190 bucks into this position here. If I just click on approve, you can do a lock duration from there. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it as an unlocked position. So click approve and then in the MetaMask wallet, I'll need to approve that over there as well. So you have to do the LP token approval in your wallet as if you want to spend it. And then you press the create button for the second transaction there on Nitro. So once approved, it kicks you back to the Nitro page. If you just scroll down a bit, you can see your compatible position here and you then need to do the final step, which is to deposit that. So click on deposit and then get that approved once more. I think this is the final hurdle here. And there we go. The icon has now changed blue staked in a Nitro pool, 531% APR broken down by the Nitro APR. Those Kuji rewards currently predicted to be 531%. I'm sure those will drop, however, as more people enter into this liquidity pool as this has literally been live for just a few hours at this moment. So those rewards will get diluted somewhat, but interested to see what I do get from this on that small position, because there will be a share of those Kuji rewards coming to me and also some Grail incentives on top of that as well. And you can actually see some of the rewards are now slowly coming in here. I've got some Kuji rewards pending. Once that builds up a little bit, I'll click on Harvest Nitro over here, and that's where I can actually harvest those individual rewards. So they're starting to tick up slowly but surely. We'll see how this one goes. Make sure you subscribe and tune in with the channel. We'll do some updates on this over the coming week. I hope you guys found this one helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.